In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to get a scary sharp edge on your knife, and it's not that expensive. To start with, I'm going to do something that's really hard for me to do. I'm going to purposely dull this knife, okay? This is a modified knife. I'm going to hold it over the top of this abrasive paper here, straight up and down. Just like I'm trying to cut through sand. Make sure it's good and dull. All right, I'm going to test it and show you just to make sure. Oh my, I can't even get it into the wood, much less make a cut. Look at it, just dulls, <laughs> just is tearing the wood apart. Okay, that's a, that's a dull knife. All right, so we're going to take it from dull to scary sharp, and here's how. I'm going to use start with the 1200 grit abrasive strip and a water bottle on my sharpening board. Lubricate the board. Lay your knife down. Raise the spine of the knife up. So maybe you could stick a quarter in the back or so. And we're going to push away. I'm going to count ten times. Pull it back. Raised up a little bit, 10 times. Now here's the most important step when sharpening a knife. You have to feel a burr before you go on. A burr, also called a wire edge, is when both sides of the metal meet and one side starts to curl over. Okay, I don't have a burr yet, so I'm going to do 10 more times. And 10 times coming back. Now, the burr should be on the top side if the two edges are meeting. And you'll feel it with your finger if you form a burr. I still don't have a burr. And I'm not surprised because I really flattened off that edge. I'm going to try 15 times this on each side. If you move ahead without feeling a burr, that means your edges are still apart. They haven't met. And if you continue on the finer and finer grits, all you're doing is polishing a dull knife. I can feel it. And I can even see a little bit of the steel turning over from the back side. That's a good sign. I've got a burr. Yep, I can see it. I can even see there's a little metal on my fingertip. That is the wire edge right there. It's a really fine piece of steel. It shows both edges have met. And now I can start counting down. I'm going to go back to 10, seeing as that last one was 15. and 10 on this side. And now nine times on each side. And then eight on each side, all the way down to one.
from 10 to 1 on the 1200 grit. Next, I'll move to 1800 grit. Lubricate the strip. And again, we'll count down from 10 on each side all the way down to 1 on each side. Notice that the water is turning black. This black color is caused by small metal particles that I'm taking off the edge of the, of the knife. Okay, the water has to turn black. If it's not, either your abrasive strip is all worn out or you're not pressing hard enough. Now we're ready to move on to the next abrasive grit which is 4,500 grit. And you can tell if you're pressing flat on the edge of the knife by how wide you can see the water is getting scraped away. Okay, it should be the full width of your knife. And the last abrasive is 8,000 grit. Normally I'll do this off the edge of a table so that my knuckles won't hit. But for this video I just raised it up a little bit on my swivel table, just enough so my knuckles don't hit on the table and I can get a good angle on the knife. After finishing the countdown on 8,000 grit, your edge will be mirror shiny and very sharp. But you're not quite done. There's one more step. The last step is to hone the edge on a leather strop. I use this white gold compound on all my leather strops. Take the compound and rub it onto the surface of your strop. Now you can see mine has been used, that's why it's black. When these strops are first new, they're a brown color of leather, but they should turn black. If they don't turn black, you're doing something wrong because again, all that black is, is just fine metal particles that are even removed as you hone the edge. Uh, same countdown method on the strop, 10 times one way and 10 times back all the way down to one and one. Just like I showed you on the sharpening board, on your strop, you can also tell if your edge is flat the honing compound will turn black on the entire width of the blade if you're holding it nice and flat. One thing I'll mention about technique when you use a sharpening board or your strop, at the end of the stroke, be sure to keep the edge flat and don't roll your wrist up. Okay, the edge stays flat all the way through the entire stroke and don't roll up like that. That'll just round over the edge that you're working so hard to get sharp. 
Okay, so watch that in your technique that you keep the edge flat for the entire stroke. After you've finished honing your knife, now you've got a scary sharp edge. Guaranteed. When the knife was dull, look at that. Now let's see what it does after we've sharpened and honed the edge. Slice is clean and smooth. And we get a beautiful, beautiful cut for all the carving that we're going to do. You can also check the sharpness of the entire edge of your knife by making a cut across the end grain of a board. And when you do, this cut should be glassy smooth, just like that. Okay, and we run the whole edge along the board. Look at how smooth and shiny that is. That's a scary sharp edge.